The dimension that separates the living from the dead is exactly as wide as the edge of a maple leaf. These are the words of Handsome Lake, a prophet of the Seneca Iroquois people. I think they're correct, except I might revise them by saying that there's actually no separation of distance at all between the living and the departed. We learn this in our dreams. Dreaming is the most natural and simple way for us to have communication with our departed. I feel sympathy but sadness for the legions of people who run to psychics and go-betweens for communication with the departed, although that may be helpful in some cases, because the direct door of access is available to us in our dreams. One of the cruelest things that our mainstream culture has told us is that it is impossible or undesirable to have communication with the departed. The departed are often desperate to talk to us for a variety of reasons. They may simply want closure. They may want to give or receive forgiveness. They may have unfinished business. They may need, may need help from us because they are lost or stuck on the other side because our culture doesn't really have an art of dying, a practice of dying anymore. We don't teach, teach people how to approach death well. So a lot of people get stuck and confused on the other side, aren't quite sure where, where they are and need help from their survivors. The departed also come to us in dreams as family angels, as guides and helpers for our life, wanting to give us information and validation that can support us on our journey, wanting to give us paths to healing. I heard recently the story of a woman who dreamed of illness again and again and again, but was really trying to block out the dreams. Uh, her grandmother started coming into her dreams saying, pay attention. She still tried to block the dreams, not wanting to face, as is so often the case with us, what could lie ahead on the road of life because it's unpleasant, inconvenient or painful. Finally, she has a manifestation of her grandmother on a staircase in her physical reality. Her grandmother comes like a cloud of air. She feels a tripper up. She falls down the stairs and she says, did you do that? And her grandmother says, I have to do something so you'll listen to your dreams.